So this is the room of a superhero. Good afternoon. Ah! Do you require assistance? What? To whom do I have the pleasure of speaking? I'm Beth Chapel. Who are you? Beth Chapel, born May 15th, 2004 at Omaha General Hospital. Dr. Bridget Chapel, currently a thoracic surgeon at the New Valley Medical Center. And James Michael Chapel, a salesman for the American Dream. Beth Chapel has a 4.4 weighted GPA, 4.0 unweighted. <laughs> True. She is the founder and only member of the Blue Valley High Student Teachers Appreciation Club. How do you know everything? I don't know everything, but I can provide information on a vast library of subjects, which I have access to via the Justice Society databanks. Who are you? You are hearing the voice of Dr. Charles McNider. Uh, okay. Why are you talking about yourself in the third person? I am merely an AI of Dr. Charles McNider, but I can change my settings to speak in the first person if you'd like. Don't change a thing. You do you, Chuck. Oh, do you mind if I call you Chuck? Sharp sure, objects coming through. <laughs> Say hello to the family. <laughs> you are a disturbed little man. I appreciate it. Uh, I think your friend's upstairs. <laughs> what are you doing in my room? Oh, Chuck, tell me about her. Courtney Elizabeth Whitmore. Permanent record includes the following infractions. Talking back to teachers. These things the are like Wikipedia on rocket fuel. I wonder what else I could do. What else can I do? Take those off. I am able to shift into various spectrums, including x-ray, infrared, and night vision. This is so bonkers. The goggles are just something my stepdad is working on. False. These were invented by Dr. Charles McNider after he lost his sight fighting the mob. They helped a blind man see. He put on a mask and became Dr. Midnight, later joining the Justice Society of America. Give me those right now. And I know that you're a superhero, too. What? I saw you last night at the hospital, flying. That's crazy. And, and that wasn't me. And you shouldn't even be in my room right now. I don't even know you. Um, well... A, we eat lunch together every day. And B, last night at the hospital, I heard you call Yolanda by her real name. That is a common rookie superhero mistake. Chuck says that's a common rookie superhero mistake. I got someone named the Red Bee killed. Beth, let's sit down. Look, this is all top secret. You can't tell anybody. Nobody at school, not your parents. I don't really keep secrets from my parents. Do you want them to die? Because that's how you'll get your parents killed. Secret identities are superhero 101. They keep the people you love safe. Now, before I let you go, I need to know a little bit more about you. What were you doing in West Farms? What? The dirt on your shoes. They have farm fertilizer in them. Ew. Don't change the subject. Rick Harris is the only kid I know that lives way out in West Farms. I mean, that's what he calls himself. What do you mean? Rick Harris's real name is Rick Tyler. And Rick's dad's real name is Rex Tyler. What? Rex Tyler. He was a 